Pokey, positive T T T. Pokey, positive. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having an amazing Poke Positivity September. I know I am. So here's the thing. We're gonna tier list uh, the Scarlet and Violet Era sets once again. I know I just did this literally like two or three months ago. But things change, opinions change, and you know there's some really good and really not so good sets that have came out recently. And I, I just want to do it again. Want to do it again, okay? And uh, before here, here's what that's gonna look like, by the way. Here we are. So there, there it is. I made the tier list. I just made it right before I started recording. There you go. Tier, TierMaker.com, I think is what it's called. I'll, list, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the link so you could do the tier list uh, in the video below. Also, uh, link the giveaway for the 151 binder collection from the last video below. But again, expires Friday night, so get on that quickly. Um, here's today's giveaway, sponsored by yours truly. All right, so Retro Universe's giveaway is still going on uh, for another 24 hours. I'll leave the link uh, for that 151 binder collection giveaway. Um, yeah, that's that'll end tomorrow. But I need to do a new giveaway because we've got a new video, so we'll have two going on. All right, so I just grabbed a bunch of trainer galleries. What do we got here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven trainer galleries, and then Gloom, AR, not IR, just because that's my like my favorite. And then you guys already saw my uh, collection video that I did last week where I showed you all my Pokemon card collection. You saw that I also heavily invest in other stuff. So here's a pack of 1991 uh, Disney collector cards, a uh, 1989 Series 1, the good series, uh, TMNT Tops cards, and then 1991 Impel Nintendo Mario Trading Card Treat cards. This came from my sealed case that I bought last year, which again, I believe was the last sealed case in existence. So all this, oh, this sim is here, okay? This got a PSA 8, and I don't like that. It's a little top to bottom OC. I think it's got a tiny little nick right there, right behind the light. So I'll probably crack this out unless the winner doesn't want me to crack it out. You want me to keep it in the slab, that's fine. But all you gotta do to win all this stuff here is uh, be subscribed and leave a comment. That's it. That's today's giveaway. So yeah, you know, just a little giveaway, a little variety, a little, little bit of this, a little bit of that. And uh, for most of these giveaways, um, unless it's a smaller creator, smaller store that's trying to get some foot traffic, so I'm trying to help them out, pretty much all these other giveaways, all you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to Mimic Brew and leave a comment. Definitely leave a comment, be subscribed, leave a comment. That's how basically all these giveaways work. Uh, the Retro Universe giveaway and a future Retroverse giveaway. You'll have to visit his site for those, though. Because, you know, we want we want him to grow. We want him to get the foot traffic. All right, so let is, let's get in to this Scarlet and Violet Era tier list. And, guys, I we're going we're gonna to walk through it together. There's not a ton of sets to cover. I am going to use JustinBasil.com visual set list. We'll reference that. I'll go back and forth. Um, I think you might be surprised with... Uh, what I'm going to go with here, especially if you've already seen my previous Scarlet and Violet. It was a Scarlet and Violet and Sword and Shield tier, tier list that I did a few months ago, whereas this is strictly Scarlet and Violet era. And yeah, so it, this will be interesting. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I think I'm just going to go in order from base set all the way to Stellar Crown, which I do have right here. And yeah, you know, uh, Stellar Crown's not out yet, so don't hold me to the Stellar Crown opinion, but everything else I feel pretty pretty confident about. All right, so Scarlet and Violet base set. Oh, uh, let's take a look real quick. So it's 24 IRs, so it's a pretty healthy amount. It's definitely medium. We got a healthy amount of hyper rares. Uh, and yeah, we have six, nine, we have nine, mm -mm, 10, 10 total SIRs. That's a pretty good amount. It's not it's not Paldea Paradox, but it's a fair amount. Uh, this set, I think, because people didn't really know what to expect going into the era, it didn't get a lot of love, plus it fell on the, the heels of Crown Zenith, which is a spectacular set, obviously. You can, people, they, they can reprint Crown Zenith to, to eternity, and those cards are still going to be worth some. But I am going to put Scarlet and Violet, because I'm comparing it to the other sets, I'm going to put it at C tier. Best, best base set ever, but compared to some of these other sets, I think it's a C tier. All right, now let's go to Paldea. So Paldea Evolved. Um, 
you know? Hmm. I'm put it A tier. Oh gosh, am I? It should be S tier. Ah, I, I didn't even mean to do that. It just dropped there. All right, let's take a look at it. So we have 36 IRs, 36, all all above above average at least, except for the damn whooper. Yeah, that whooper. Bro, you're swimming around in in sewage water. What? Who? Just kidding. But uh, you know, there's a healthy amount of hits in every rarity tier. Got some very underrated, like the Wu Chen, the Chi Yu's, Tinkaton. There's a lot of value across the board. Um, Iono, by the way, is only like 65, 66 bucks right now. So if you need Iono, it might be a good time to get Iono. We got a ton of secret rares. A t I mean, uh, hyper rares. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Like this set is massive. Um, I think it's only a matter of time before another card that's not Magikarp and not Iono from this set creeps up enough to really uh, justify Paldea's like booster box price and all that. Uh, Titar and Raichu obviously are a big deal. They've gone up a lot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> should I be controversial? All right, I'm gonna leave it in A tier for now. Not S tier. All right. <laughs> All right. So Obsidian Flames. Oh, we'll put it in D tier just right off the bat. You know, I you know I buy a lot more Obsidian Flames than anyone, like, I mean, not anyone, but a lot of people. Like, I own tons of copies of these cheap little poppies and gitos. I think Jolly Rancher's art is great. I even like the Reverum Room card a lot. The Ice Q is clean. It's clean. I love how clean the, the Ice Q is. It says it's just so small. And the IRs, there's a couple good ones, but there's other sets like Shrouded Fable that are small like this that have, like, crazy-looking IR gallery. You know, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. Yeah, D, D. Obsidian flames, D tier. Okay. Canto boys, basic chads. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take a look first. Let's take a look. So obviously, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. It's a fair amount. It's it's not a small amount. And it's not a medium. It's like a medium amount of IRs. But again, holding a lot of value across the board, that's for sure. The full arts are the best full arts in the game basically ever. When it comes to all full arts in any Pokemon TCG set ever printed, these guys are like a crazy anomaly where they just all are worth like a fair amount of money. Like more than any other set's full arts. That's for sure. The SIRs top to bottom are bangers, there's just not enough. Two, four, seven. Top to bottom, awesome, just only seven. And the hyper rares, why is there only three? Why, 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 why? If you're not a Kanto person, I think you will understand why I am making this. Am I going S tier? Yo, okay, look, I'm gonna put it A tier and either Paldea or 151. One of those two are gonna shift up to S tier. I don't know. All right, P Rift. P Rift kinda has to be with Paldea. I'm sorry, P Rift's just. It's so similar to Paldea in set size specifically. Um, it's massive. Um, but to be honest, I think I like looking through my Paradox Rift Binder way more than my Paldea Evolved Master Set Binder. And the diversity and the artworks. I mean, the diversity in the Paradox Rift artworks. First of all, it's 35 IRs. Paldea is 36. So they're way both way up there. But, uh, you know... Plus, Albinum just went up quite a bit. Groudon is obviously up. Veltil's up. Morpeko's double digits. Steelix is obviously like 20 bucks. There's a lot of value. There's a lot of value. A lot of cards. <laughs> Let's see. And I know the Hyper Rares look good. Like, but the SIRs 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15. And is that the same or just Paldea up 16? Pele either, either has the same or 16. But every one of these SIRs is so unique and different looking from each other and cool. Like, oof. I I mean, this is my favorite set. All right, it's staying at A for now. Staying at A. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so now we got Paldeir Fates. So Paldeir Fates. 
Oh, this is A tier also. This, the 151, I mean, the baby shinies, 120 baby shinies. Absolutely. I absolutely love them. Do I even have it up here? I don't. But yeah, Paldean Fates for a specialty set, it's just so much better than Shining Fates. It's right up there. In my mind, with Hidden Fates, like, once a few years go by, you know, yeah, Hidden Fates was during the hype, perfectly timed, some great cards. But Paldean Fates, the Bubble Mew, and the Charizard, like, that Charizard is the coolest Charizard to come out in years. And there's a lot of duplicate, you know, Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield Charizards. Whereas, yeah, I know the Obsidian Flames Charizard looks like the Paldean Fates Charizard, but the Paldean Fates is like the extreme version, like way cooler. So I'm going to go with A tier. One of these A tiers is going to move up to S, for sure. So Temporal Forces, we have the beginning of nerfed SIR pull rates. It is definitely a medium-sized set. It is very similar in size to base set and Twilight Masquerade. Um, let's take a look. So, the, I, the IR gallery for Temporal Forces is actually really nice. Like, really nice. Like, the Arbok, the Ghastly, and the Metagross, all three of those. You know, Kanto, Kanto, Kanto. Those are all three great. Like, the Metagross, Ghastly, and Arbok are fantastic. I love the Excadrill. I love the Bronzer. You know, you got Deerling and Sawbuck. So... No, the full arts are alright. I really just like the Gengar, maybe the Walking Wake, to be honest, or the Raging Bolt. Gengar and Raging Bolt, for sure. A lot of supporters. Now here, so... The difference between Temporal and Twilight, I, I think, like, Temporal has better Pokemon SIRs and not as good supporter SIRs, whereas Twilight, I think, has better supporter SIRs between these four right here, all four of them are like S tier. And then the, the actual Pokemon themselves because of the four Ogre Ponds, not, not so much. Yeah, the Raging Bull is so good. Ah. All right, yeah, B tier for now. I'm gonna leave it at B tier, okay? I'm just, I'm sorry, okay? It's portal is B. All right, let's get to Twilight Masquerade. All right, so. Whoa, hey, that's an S tier. Yeah, I know. So, that's part of the reason I'm even making this video. So, Twilight Masquerade, this set has grown on me so much. So, obviously, you know, let's take a look. So, the Hyper Rares, you got six. That's, that's good. These SIR trainers, I just love them so much. It's, I, I do. These are good. Obviously, Greninja's like 280, I haven't checked it in a few days, 290 something. To be honest, I just really love the full arts in this set. I think these full arts are really good. Um, similar to 151's full arts, they're just better than usual. I love the Screamtail, love the Palafin, love the Luxray, definitely love the Iron Thorns, the Dracopole, the Greninja, the Blissey. And then here's the thing. So I think the illustration rares for Twilight Masquerade are like this Diplin. This Diplin. I just bought this Diplin like an hour ago. Okay, look. This Diplin. This Diplin, five dollars. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, this. I I mm 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 mm. -mm. I love that Diplin. That Diplin's so yummy. All right, so I love the dip, I love the IRs in this set for sure. I love the Eevee. I think Tatsuguri, Chansey, Growlithe. They even made a Probo Pass card good. Like the Sunfloras. They remind me of this creature from Elden Ring that just sings and dances, but then if you hit them, they attack you, and they're like really scary. <laughs> but uh, all right, so Twilight Masquerade. It's S tier. It has the top end value. It has a beautiful. The reason Twilight Masquerade, yes, it's not Paradox Rift, and it's not a Paldea size, but it's so good for a medium-sized set with nerf pull rates, with a super expensive chase card, with beautiful IRs. Twilight Masquerade just, I think, blew everyone out of the water. Everyone thought that the set was going to be terrible, and it's just not. All right, so Shrouded Fable. I think most of us who watch my videos, you already know how I feel about this. Oh, man. Let me take a look. 
So, if it wasn't for the IR gallery being just very above average, like the Houndoom, the Persian, I even love the, the Q-Fant. The, the Q-Fant might be my favorite of all of them, to be honest. Uh, yeah, the Horsey is solid. These three, Monkey Dory, Pheasant Dippity, Okie Dogie, those are all good. If it wasn't for the IRs, like, man, this set would be bottom of the barrel, in my opinion. Seriously, bottom of the barrel. Like, here's your SIRs, woohoo. Here's your Hyper Rares, woohoo. Like, ugh. 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 So yeah, Shrouded Fable is D. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that leaves us one left. Okay, so for this one, I'm thinking... Huh. Stellar Crown, so again, it's a medium... Or it's, it's a small, very small set. It's got the Squirtle that'll get pumped to Oblivion. Or it's got the uh, Bulbasaur that'll... I think it's the Squirtle that's going to get pumped to Oblivion just because he's smiling and it's Squirtle. Bulbasaur's sleeping, so I think uh, the pumpers will be dormant as far as Bul... I mean, Bulbasaur is going to get a little pump. I just... If, I, if, you, if you had to ask me, I would say it's the Squirtle. Um, but yeah, so Stellar Crown... Uh, the full arts are decent, but and yeah, the high drapple and the dash bun I do love. I like the high drapple and the dash bun more than uh, the crazy sparkly man, turtle man, turtle man, <laughs> uh, Terrapagos or whatever the hell. Uh, so yeah, so you know what? To me, Stellar Crown is C. It's better than Obsidian. It's better than Shrouded Fable. But to be honest, it's it's way too small. It's literally the exact same size as Obsidian Flames, just with the even smaller regular size set than Obsidian Flames. Uh, so okay, so let's look at Twilight Masquerade. So we have Twilight Masquerade as the only S tier. I gotta move one of these up to S tier. Oh, uh, Paldea. Paldea's moving up. I think there's more cards that are just all across board going up with Paldea every day. I see it every week with my weekly hottest cards videos. There's always a Paldea IR on the list week in and week out. Uh, yeah, so you know, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so there it goes. There's, there's my list. Um, please let me know what your opinions are. This is definitely a comment video. One comment for the giveaway if you want to automatically be entered in the giveaway. And, uh, but then also let me know your favorite set. Let me know, know which set you hate the most or dis dislike the most because it is Pokemon Positivity September. And yeah, until the next one, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy your. Is it the weekend yet? No, we got, I'm, I'm going to come out with uh, this week's hottest cards like tomorrow or Friday. But in, until then, see you guys on the next one. Deuces.